Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to unturned 3.9.4 Today's update contained a lot of minor fixes that really aren't like tangible additions to the game But there are lots of tweaks uh, that helped improve it quite a bit a lot of the items that were added today I can't really show you so I guess I just kind of have to read it to you but there were a few physical additions and physical changes that I'll show you guys in this video as well. Starting off with additions there are now more item spawn points and zombie spawn points. Uh, so even in Alberton right here you can see that there are now more zombies spawning behind here as well and uh, running through there. You'll come across a lot more zombies than before so it's going to be a lot more of a challenge to go loot towns. I like that. I personally like challenges in video games. So as long as you're making it a challenging kind of hard, not like a get frustrated kind of hard, but a challenging kind of hard, I like that. Oh man dude I just changed it to sunrise and the... <laughs> The lighting on sunrise just looks amazing. Anyway, he added some low tier gun spawns to the campground areas and civilian spawns. And also in the civilian areas, he also added some household item spawns there. So just more additions to the item spawn tables. He also added recipes for grenades and vaccines. In order to craft a grenade, you need a can and raw explosives. The explosives can be found at like the military base, confederation bridge, stuff like that. And cans, you can, you can kind of find them anywhere. In order to craft a vaccine, you need a can, bricks, you can find those at like hardware stores, construction yards, stuff like that, and chemicals. The only place that I've found chemicals is in Scorpion 7, and I think you can find it in like the practitioner's office, and I think you might be able to find it in the hospital as well, but definitely the most common place for it to spawn is Scorpion 7. And as you can see, when you go into crafting over here, it's in the supplies category, you can craft a grenade and a vaccine, and they just work completely normal. You can toss a grenade, it'll blow up, and you can use your vaccine. I definitely like the uh, idea of crafting grenades. Since they were so hard to find before, whenever I found them, I never really found myself using them because they're so rare. Like, I feel like, oh, I shouldn't use it because um, I'll never find one again. But now, uh, now that you can craft some, I won't feel so anxious about uh, using them. He also tweaked the ratios of damages between players when it comes to guns and also tweaked the damage of melee weapons to make it to where guns are definitely better than melee weapons but still the military and butterfly knife will be able to kill a zombie in one hit, a normal zombie, as long as you go up to them from behind, use your power hit, and hit them in the head. So essentially melee weapons have been nerfed a little bit to make guns against zombies your more preferred weapon. He also improved the Alberton surveillance house. I'm assuming that that is that one. I didn't really know that there was a surveillance house inside um, Alberton, but he also improved or moved the cameras to the Mansion Island, which is Corton Isle. All of these are pretty minor changes. I think those are just um, aesthetic changes. He also made it to where uh, when you're trying to craft a bedroll, the only craftable item is the white bedroll. So if you go in here, uh, before, as long as you had nine cloth, you could craft all the different types of bedrolls in the game. Uh, but now, you can only craft a white bedroll, and that's because in the future, he's going to be adding dyeing. So that way you would be able to dye your bedrolls, or maybe dye your clothes and stuff like that. To give you a bit more customization, rather than having to find, like be on the lookout for like an orange t-shirt, uh, you can make one yourself. Anyway, for now, you can just craft a white bedroll. He also adjusted the balance between the food and water consumables and also improved the red dot and halo sight aim position. So I have this sniper sky here, which also had its rate of fire increased in this update, and we'll test that out. Uh, but also at the same time, the aim positions of these have been improved. Um, not much of a change. I think, I feel like it's kind of moved farther away from the screen right now. I think like before, you wouldn't even be able to see that bottom section of the red dot sight. So I think it's just been moved farther away from the screen. I'm fine with it. Um, once again, it was a minor change, so uh, nothing too crazy right there. Also, with the rate of fire, I mean, you could shoot that fast. I mean, I never really used the sniper sky in the first place, so I don't really know how big of a change that was, but supposedly it's a bit higher. Yeah, anyway. Also, the uh, pebbles that are scattered all around the map have been made a little bit smaller. Once again, very minor change. But on the other end of the spectrum, a pretty major change is that the values for skills have been drastically changed. Before, I think it took one point to do the first tier, two points for the second, three points for, no, five points for the third, ten, and fifteen. Now, 
It requires a lot more experience to level up your skills. I like that a lot. I mean, before it took you about an hour's worth of playtime in order to max out all your skills. Now it takes a long time and you're really going to have to say like, okay, I now have experience. What skill should I get a point for? Rather than just going on a massive skill buying spree. So now I believe it starts with 10, moves to 20, then it goes to 30, 40, 50, and then, then it's maxed. So it looks like it just moves on increments of 10. Um, some skills are a bit better than others, like this parkour one, that's a very vital skill. And so I believe that one starts at 20, then skips to 40, 60, 80, 100, and then it's maxed out. So it just has twice the value needed to level that one up compared to the other ones. So you can get all those, get all those, get all those. And these ones actually have extra uh, tabs to them. You can actually level them up two points higher than the other ones. Uh, so I'm not sure if that means that it stabilizes it even more than before, or it just means that there's more increments between the maximum of it before and zero. So essentially it just means that you need to buy more points to reach the top. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I guess we can try it out. So that one takes, well, we'll watch it on this one, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, or 70. Uh, yeah, so 70 on the last one. Overall, it just takes quite a bit of experience. Um, also, the overkill, this whole skill thing, um, it's been increased. So I guess that's to counter the nerfing of the melee weapons. Now overkill, uh, the effect of it has been improved quite a bit, supposedly. And so I was at like 31,000 experience, and we can see what it goes down to after this is all said and done. Some of these only go up three. So like you, this crafting one, it only goes up three because there's no need to go real, real crazy with that because all that's doing is just unlocking more blueprints. So we went down to 28,000 experience. So that was around three to 4,000 um, experience points in order to uh, level your character up to the max. I do like that. I mean, that'll take about a day's worth of playing unturned in order to uh, max out your skill. And I think that's that's pretty reasonable. When you're playing on single player, um, after you've really gotten yourself established, that's kind of the point at which you um, have every skill in the game. So right now I'm, I'm very satisfied with these uh, ratios of experience. Lastly, I'm going to check out how well of a job that stabilization skill did. Oop, out of ammo. Does seem a bit better. Yeah, it didn't seem like it did that much, but... Um, it did make a noticeable change. Once again, I don't have like amazing memories, so I don't really remember what the recoil was before this whole update was, and I didn't even use the Sniper Skyer that much. Uh, but really, that was all that was added in Unturned 3.9.4. There were a few minor fixes, but if you guys would like to check those out, I'll put the full update post in the description down below. That is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that to rush because me like big boom is out.